The problem from this video can be downloaded at accountingworkbook.com. If you go to the website, click the PDF link and you can download a copy of this and all of my problems for yourself. Now, if you check the website and you click on videos, you'll see there are more videos than those I've listed publicly on YouTube. You can see that there's uh, every problem covered in the workbook has either a public video or a members only video. If you'd like access to the members only video, just click the join button beneath the video player on YouTube. All right, let's jump into the problem. So this problem has us exploring the accounting equation. And if you're not sure what I mean when I say the word accounting equation, go back and watch the last video. It's going to be really helpful in just defining these terms, assets, liabilities, shareholders, equity. We also uh, explained a couple more revenues, expenses, and dividends. And I think it's just so useful to go through that video before you do this one. But anyway, uh, assuming you've gone through that, let's go through this problem. So uh, this just sort of says, okay, fill in the missing information and keeping in mind this formula that we introduced in the previous video, assets equals liabilities plus shareholders equity. Assets equals liabilities plus shareholders equity. That's called the accounting equation. It's so fundamental to what we do. So let's start with business one. We don't know the assets. We know the liabilities are 181. We know the equity is 212. So 181 plus 212, doing the math here, that looks like $393,000. $393. And there we have it. We've solved part one. And again, just sort of saying what they have, $393,000 of good stuff that they own and control, $181,000 of debts that have to be paid back. If they liquidated all their assets, got $393,000 cash, paid their debts of $181,000, $212,000 would flow through to the shareholders. The shareholders' piece of the pie is $212,000 for business number one. Let's do business number two. Uh, the assets are $75,000. We don't know the liabilities, but we know the equity is 36. So we know like 36 plus whatever is in this blank space equals 75 or stated differently, 75 minus 36 equals whatever's in the blank space. The blank space is $39,000. And you can double check, right? 39 plus 36 equals 75. Yes, it works. Let's do business three. $30,000 is the assets, $21,000 is the liabilities. Uh, our shareholders equity then, the missing number has got to be $9,000. If I had $30,000 in assets, let's assume we again sold them all off for cash. We had $21,000 in debts or bills to be paid. $30,000 in, let's say we sold it for cash, pay off all the debts, twenty-one dollars How much money goes to my shareholders? $9,000. Okay, the last one's a little bit funny. It says it's $10,000. You can see it's negative and it notes that business four's equity is an accumulated deficit position. What does that mean? It means they have negative shareholders equity. You see this happen once in a while, right? And it's the equivalent of somebody's mortgage being higher than the value of their house. They'll talk about this like the house is underwater, they say. In other words, the debt is worth more than the asset is that the debt is sort of held against. In the financial crisis, this happened a lot. It happens with companies too, where they have higher liabilities than they do assets. And uh, what does that mean? It means they're going to need money from their shareholders or they're not going to be in business for long. So uh, business number four, the liabilities have got to be $10,000 higher than the assets. How do I know that? Because the equity is negative 10,000. So the, if the assets are 25, the liabilities have got to be 35, $10,000 more. 35,000 plus a negative 10 is 25,000. Assets still do equal liabilities plus shareholders equity. We call that accumulated deficit. If we have negative uh, uh, retained earnings as this company certainly would. Okay, there we have it. Problem 11A is in the books. Stay tuned for our next video. Bye for now.